Okay, so another thing that I forgot to show you is that we can actually listen to data coming from the clients in WebSocket. I talked about it, but I did not show it to you. So when you create a connection or when there is a connection, we can represent or we can uh, use this connection uh, from bypassing an argument to this function. I will call it socket. This is what the document called it. And this socket will listen on some event. I will call it a client or message underscore from client. Like this. And this will return a message or just console log that message. So whenever the client emits an event, or by this name, yeah, emits an event by this name, I will display the message that the client passed to on the server. So let's just run our server. Go here and let's just try to connect. Block has 3000. So when we see data, this everything means everything is fine. When we see data, yeah. So uh, as you can see, every five seconds we will have this. Now, if you go here to this at the bottom, we can actually put the event name. We can set anything that we want as a JSON, or it's it's just a string. It's another way, uh, or it's another concept, or another maybe maybe set of videos. Not in this series, but maybe in the future, that how we can convert this into JSON and st stuff like that. So let's just send. Uh, something like this hello web sockets send as you can see we got we got it so it's it, we sent actually a request on a web socket connection from the client to the server and here from the server to the client in real time and they both got it uh, I think this is awesome thank you